So long before Andrew Cuomo was governor, way back in his attorney general days, he pushed a bill through the legislature that would make it easier for local governments to consolidate, insisting that to do so would cut costs and then reduce property taxes. But few localities actually made use of this new power, which underscores a simple reality. No elected official likes to give up control, no matter how small his fiefdom might be. So now we have a new poll that was conducted by Marist College and funded by the Dyson Foundation, and it suggests that many New Yorkers actually want their electeds to go the consolidation route in theory. A closer look reveals that they are conflicted as to what exactly that might mean. So here to interpret these numbers is Marist College pollster Lee Miringoff. It's good to see you. My pleasure. In one sentence you just summarized the No, that was like 10 work. sentences actually. Yeah, okay, 10 sentences. Okay, but just tell us before we start, sure. the Dyson Foundation is what and why exactly did you, and this is not a poll, I should say. Yeah, this is really is a like, study. Okay, okay. Right, right, right. There's a master's thesis here for right. somebody if they want it. Right. Uh, Dyson Foundation is a family foundation and Hudson Valley, uh, five counties, uh, Mid Hudson Valley, uh, funding a lot of different things. Um, they uh, they have recently uh, been interested in consolidation of nonprofit organizations and trying to make management a little more efficient. And in this case, they were, uh, I think, interested in doing, you know what is this issue on a broader horizon. Uh, so the issue of governmental consolidation, I think, is one that they were interested in, not to push an agenda as was certainly something we're comfortable sure. not doing as well, sure. but to. to to try to enlighten, to try to inform, uh, this has gone out to decision makers and local officials all around the state today. Um, had a press conference in, in the Capitol earlier in the day, and so we're really just trying to move the debate a little bit so that the issue of consolidation is at least on the table. Well, it is more than just on the table. Yeah. I mean, it's in the budget because yes. the governor is actively, aside from what he did when he was attorney general, yeah. he is now actively including in the budget, which of course passed the legislature, yeah. consolidation of a number of government agencies. Yep. And that's at the state level. Right. And then what we're doing in this is we're looking at, okay, that's at the state level. Now, what about at the local level? And what we see is really local governments are at a crossroads. Uh, you know, clearly they have declining revenues. People are are taxed, uh, you know, to the fullest, uh, but yet they want to maintain essential services. Mm -hmm. So the question is, how do you move on that? Uh, and is local government restructuring through consolidation the answer? And I think we wanted to, in this project, get a better sense on what the proponents think, what the opponents think, and which direction they can go on. And I think the results were truly very interesting uh, from a variety of standpoints about, you know, when you do a survey of 4,520 people in nine regions of the state, yeah. you're able to drill down into each of the regions. And one of the things that we found, which I thought was totally surprising in this, was that there wasn't a partisan divide. This isn't a Democratic or Republican, an independent or a Tea Party issue. I mean, people are not driven by party considerations. Uh, to have a position on consolidation has a lot to do with whether they think there's too many governments at the local level, uh, whether they have confidence in their local decision makers, and attitudes about they, what they think consolidation might or might not do. Okay, well before we even get into that, because okay. there are so many layers here, and not the least of which is consolidation and what does it mean, well, right? They, is, let's just uh, yeah. touch base with the governor himself, right? He had a statement that was put out, I think we have it, let's okay. pop it up there on the screen if we've got it. I think it's in there, maybe not. Okay, so basically the governor is very pleased with this okay. because it tells it, it tells the public that he is in fact correct, more or less. Mm -hmm. I mean, if you look at the top lines of this, sure. it seems to indicate 68% of New Yorkers have a positive impression of the term shared services, yes. right? 60% have a similar reaction yeah. to the idea of government consolidation. 58% yeah. we're going down here. 58% say the <laughs> same about you're end merged up. <laughs> services. 52% yeah. of New Yorkers have a positive impression of regionalism. All this sounds fantastic. Dissolving local government. Loser. <laughs> okay, Loser. so all right, what's the message in here? The message is that people are comfortable having this on the table for consideration, but they don't want to dissolve local governments. And what they're telling us is if it's going to improve quality, if it's going to save money, if it's going to make local government more efficient, then they're very interested in it. However, if you lose access to local decision making, if you lose your local identity, and if it doesn't truly save costs, then people are really not as interested as mm -hmm. back to the drawing board. So you really have two different camps. And what's also interesting, I, I, I think, in this is when we look at different services. Yeah. I mean, this isn't sort of like consolidation, yes, consolidation, no. 
it depends on the service that we're talking about. And people are very different when it comes to transportation right. than they are to, let's say, education. Okay, but before we get there, I do think that we have the statement now. So let's pop okay, that good. up on the screen. There it is. Okay, so the governor is applauding the work of the poll and also the foundation. He appreciates the efforts in helping to ensure the people's voice is heard in government. The message from the survey is clear, according to the governor, that New Yorkers support consolidation efforts that reduce the size of government, improve the quality of services, make the state more attractive to businesses, etc., mm -hmm. reduce property tax. Etc. Okay, so here's the thing. He agrees, obviously, because this is exactly sure. what he wants. The problem is it's not so cut and dried, right? And for example, let's talk about public transportation. Sure. People, this is pretty obvious. Public transportation you, often cuts across county lines. It definitely yeah. cuts across town lines. Yep. It cuts across city lines, yep. right? So it's quite clear that you would like to get from point A to point B mm -hmm. and not necessarily stop at, say, I don't know, Kingston when you really want to get to Poughkeepsie, right? That's just correct. because they're in two different That's correct. counties doesn't mean that you should stop. So can you maintain your local identity and save costs and make it more efficient? Because sometimes things don't make sense. You know, if you're on Route 9, let me take a Poughkeepsie example, and you're at Marist College, you're in the town of Poughkeepsie. You're riding south on Route 9, you go through the city of Poughkeepsie, you come out the other side, you're now in the town of Poughkeepsie again. So right. it's like a horseshoe around around. But the imagine city of if there was a bus service that only took you in the town of Poughkeepsie and would stop and dump you out at the you to walk over to the city of Poughkeepsie. Transfer. I'm transferring over and then I'm transferring back. Right. It doesn't make a whole lot of sense. So I think that's what we're seeing about this is that people, when it comes to like an issue of transportation, look, that was applauded by six of, uh, uh, of the, uh, as the top one or two yep. options in six of the eight regions we looked at. I should say that New York City, which is already largely consolidated, we ask people to rate their services rather than to weigh in on consolidation because they already are. Yeah, you know, well, I mean, it's obviously the city has five boroughs. Sure. It has a public transportation it, system. And, that and it has a citywide police and a citywide fire sure. and all those things. With the exception of Staten Island, and yeah. we're not being viewed in New York City, because okay. I won't be getting the hate mail from Staten Island because I don't want to anger people there. They feel they're underserved by public transportation. Okay. However, for example, each of those boroughs has a different board of elections. That's right? correct. So, which is not a public service per se. It's a government entity. That's but right. I'm just saying there are things There's that have areas, character. But, but on the kinds of things we were asking about in here, uh, around the state, uh, you know, there's a wide range. And, uh, you know, the, the thing about, let's say, education, which is the, the thumbs ahead. down uh, on most uh, when it comes to consolidation, that's the weakest link because people, you know, if they think there's too many governments, then they're interested in consolidating. But when it comes to education, they think it's about the right number. Yeah. So they're really not. And again, it's not a partisan issue. It's not a demographic issue. This isn't an issue, you know, when we do these polls. Very often we see, you know, different groups are higher, different groups are lower. What we're seeing here is there's a little geographic difference. Uh, the western part of the state, for example, but is much more supportive of consolidation than elsewhere. I, and we don't, do we know why? We don't well, know I why. Th well, you know, I think part of it has to do with just the economic strain people are under in, mm -hmm. the, in the western mm -hmm. part of the state. Mm -hmm. The fact that people do think there's way too many governments. And even it's the only region of the state where they would consolidate education. It's the only one that education actually is on part of their consolidation list. Yeah. So I think what is the bottom line here? You know, and the Dyson Foundation is very interested in, you know, civic education and raising the level of dialogue and what we're seeing here is that there are you know it's not one size fits all and what this survey allows is for decision makers in these different locales to try to get a better sense of what their residents are willing to go for in these difficult times yeah, I, and the governor is as you say he's got incentives now in his proposals he does. to uh, to provide for those areas that can accomplish consolidated services He's got you know, money in the in Yeah, the I think that the bottom line here is that this is generally the way that government is going. Yes. Because there is a certain reality, a fiscal reality, mm -hmm. about the need to do more with less. Yes. The question is, how do you get there from here? Wow. Because people are very sensitive to the idea. And it's not just control. As I did say, elected sure. officials are huge on their ability oh, sure. to control. But, for example, they feel connected to their schools, yep. but also, in some cases, to their fire departments and yes. there is civic pride that and, you're and talking fire about. fire and police are also ones where a lot of communities are on the fence about. Right. So in a sense, it is a pick and choose. You have to be selective in which services that you're going to opt for. Uh, and I think that that's what, you know, if there's a contribution in this study, it is in the fact that it provides these decision makers a good sense of where they can, uh, you know, move in what direction. Right. Uh, but that the people, you know, consolidation has been around for a long time. Uh, this is not the, you know, the flavor of the month. This has been something that will have some heavy lifting to do in the local areas for people to actually implement and be successful because there is resistance if that's the direction people want to go in. 
Um, the question is, you know, do we uh, do we have the kind of proper customization for the locales and hopefully this survey provides some some insight into so that. I just want to show people this is what it looks like striking the balance yep. right it's actually a binder it's not just a piece <laughs> of paper if people want to look at this and really get down into it yep. where can they find it online it, well, well, sure uh, uh, nylocalgov.org okay and you get a video for four minutes tells you believe it or not in four minutes almost everything you need to know well we've only gone six minutes longer than four minutes so you know okay. probably told them a little more than they needed to know. okay but I want to thank you Lee Marion for coming in it's Pleasure. great to see you. Okay, my pleasure, Liz.